feeling very compa compelled to share this. And my message today is you can't earn love. You can't earn it. And greetings from my end of the planet here where I'm deeply immersed every single day in, in, a, in an interesting position, right? Because I'm doing health coaching and mindset coaching, right? So it, both of those industries, the fitness, nutrition, getting in shape, and also the mindset industry of personal growth, maybe entrepreneurship, personal development, what I see constantly, constantly is why does someone want that? Why do they want to be more fit? Why do they want to make more money? Why do they want personal growth? Because they perceive that when I get that, then I'll love myself. Then I'll be happy. Then other people will love me. Then, then, then. And it's this energy of proving and earning. And my question is, if you have a kid, if you have a child, if your child has to earn your love, are you loving them? Hell no. <laughs> no. That love, real love doesn't work like that. And our society has been so conditioned, so conditioned into conditional love, we don't even like think about it anymore. I saw, um, it's a friend, it's a friend of mine, but I saw him, he's very, very, very successful, extremely successful. And I saw him talking about his thoughts around that. And I was so sad, honestly, I was so sad because <sighs> It was, he's so much in the energy of, I have to see, see world. Now I'm enough, huh? I'm never going to back to that unlovable and pathetic. And honestly, as I watched it, I was like, damn dude, like I would almost put him as like a suicide risk if he lost everything because his value is so deeply connected to his achievements and what he's earned and what he's proved that like, if he lost it all, I would be heavily concerned for him. Like my heart was like, oh damn. You know, and so fear can drive us. Not enoughness can drive us. It can definitely inspire action, but guess what's the trick? You never get it. You never get it. If you're trying to get value, worth, love through achievement, the, the, the finish line just keeps moving. And you're always in that energy. And that's why we see so many successful people who are depressed or people who are really fit who are depressed because it's so much of it is what's happening internally inside of them. You can't earn it. You can temporarily think you've earned it, right? You can get really fit and be like, yeah, I'm awesome now. But deep inside, it's not there. Because the pattern is I have to earn self-respect. I have to earn self-love. And it's just, you can't get it. And, and what I see and why I wanted to make this video is because when I start talking about this, and I know I talk about it a lot, and I'm going to keep talking about it because it is so prevalent. It is the biggest issue I see in the work that I do is how people treat themselves, how they relate to themselves, how they see themselves. Whole goddamn society, we're a bunch of adults who are mean as shit to ourselves, hard as crap on ourselves, because we think that that is the only thing that's going to drive action. If I accept myself, then I'm going to become complacent, right? If I love myself now, then I'm just going to stay like this and I don't want to stay like this. So I got to keep being like, mm, do better, be better, blah. But guess what? There's another way. There's another way that maybe a lot of people haven't conceived of. And that is when you see yourself truly and you love yourself truly, you start to see how freaking powerful you actually are and you see that you can do anything you freaking want because you know your own power. And then you're already there. You're already there and, and you see that you can get fit because you freaking, of course you can. You can build a business because of course you can. <laughs> that, that is the other path you can take. So you can take, I'm not good enough and I gotta prove my value. I got to be rich. I got to be fit. I got to be beautiful. I got to be handsome. I got to be blah, blah, blah. I got to be the perfect parent. Pressure, 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 pressure. But you'll always be in that energy. Always. No matter how far you get. Because that's the energy you're operating out of. But if you can start to do that deeper work, and that is why my higher symbol, if you guys ever see my little, it's like a triangle, what it, what it means because I was a lifelong achiever, overachiever, right? <laughs> Big time. And it's a, it's a triangle. You start at the bottom and you start going up that mountain. You start achieving. You're like, yeah, 
I'm going to get to the top of the mountain. <laughs> and what the trick is, if you go back inside, and that's why my logo goes like that, if you go inside, the eagle comes out, you will soar way higher than any freaking mountaintop. Achievement is lame. It's cool to achieve. You can, you can achieve, but it comes from a different energy. When you see your own power and strength, you're doing it because you want to. It's coming from an aligned place of power. Not a, I'm not good enough and I got to prove to the world. Am I good enough world now? Am I good enough? I'm rich and I'm hot and I'm fit. Am I good enough? I've been there. I've walked this path and that's why I know. And I work with it every single day. And I just, I won't stop sharing this message because I know it's scary if the only motivational tool you've ever used your whole life is being hard on yourself and telling yourself you're not good enough and you get, you, come on, go push it. Let's go prove it, prove it. If that's the only motivational tool you've used and you have this belief system that if I, if I love myself right now, then I'll become complacent and get worse. That's mm, no, that's not what happens. You see what you see your, you actually you get out of the picture. It's like, yeah, I know, dude, I know because I know how powerful I am because I see that there's nothing that I can't do. There's nothing that I can't create. And then it starts becoming aligned too. It's like, well, I know I could do that. Does that feel aligned? Okay. Yeah, it does. And you know that you have the power and the strength to do it. I do have a podcast, Beth. It's called the Inside Out Health Podcast. Let me see, guys. I'm, I'm watching the road. I know some of you yell at me. Let's see. Coach, um, that's right. Empower yourself so you can empower others. Take responsibility of yourself. Yeah, and in a loving way, right? Because sometimes we like... You got to ownership. I, I totally believe in extreme ownership. It's like owning, owning our stuff, but in a loving and supportive way, just like almost everybody listening to my voice right now. I know you give that to other people. I know you give them compassion and see the good in them and see the strength in them and give them grace. It's like, dude, you're learning, you're growing. It's part of the journey and giving that to ourselves. That's it. That's why I made a post about that today. What's up, Zach? Good to see you, dude. Yeah more than worthy. Once you really know this, it be feel it's like worthy of what? <laughs> worthy of what? What? Worthy of what? Does a tree need to know it's worthy? Does a flower need to know it's worthy? Does your dog wonder, walk around wondering if it's wor worthy of what? It just is worth. And so are we. And when you know that, it's like, oh shit. I'm like the fabric of all that is. I am like divine consciousness incarnate in this little expression. Shit. Okay, let's go. And you meet up in life like that. It doesn't mean you become complacent and stop doing anything and just sit on your ass all day. It doesn't mean that. You wouldn't do that because you see the purpose of life. You see that it's here for us to experience and expand and grow and learn. And, and, and you're, you come from a full cup of wanting to give. Not taking from others so you can see that you're worthy enough now. You know what I mean? What happened to my finger? I fell on a hike. I was running down a hike with my kids and... I biffed it really hard and it dislocated and fractured. Um, so that's all. What's up, Jonathan? Good to see you, dude. Keto Road. Make sure you guys follow the Keto Road. He's awesome and real and genuine. Appreciate you, dude. He was on my podcast as well, Jonathan Shane. Um, so that's all. Just a message of like, if you're look, just encouraging anybody listening to me right now to take a look at like, where am I earning it? Where do I feel like I need to be like this in order for people to think I'm, or for me to think I'm worthy and valuable or other people to think I'm worthy and valuable. There's stuff there, you know, it's just wounded stuff somewhere along the line. It, when did I, you know, when did the wound happen? Right. And doing your healing around that and changing your stories. I'm like, dude, that was never true. That was never true. And, and being kind and loving to yourself giving yourself so much support, just like you give to others, then you, you start creating. I call it creation energy. Mika, thank you. It's creation energy. It's doing it because you freaking want to, because you know you can. You start eating well because you know you're worthy. That's like, of course, man. Of course I want that for this awesome biotech suit that I live in. Of course I want wealth so that I can create and give back. And what am I going to do with that wealth? You know? You digging the orange meanie? Thank you. I love bright colors. Always have my whole life. <laughs> so that's all. Just take a look. It's like, where am I, where am I earning my value? What is going on there? 
what's the story? Where am I wounded? Let me do some deep work on that. You know, probably hiring somebody to help you with that is a good idea. A therapist, a coach, a mindset coach, something like that, you know, because once you, you heal that, I've been there, I've been there with my body. I've been there with achievement of like, I got to be all this to know for myself that I'm enough. And like, once you heal that, you start creating in a way that's aligned. It's so much easier to be fit and healthy and eat well and exercise when you're coming from the energy of, of course, I want that for myself. Of, of course. Not, okay, I got to don't eat too much today so I can be skinny so people like me. You know what I mean? It just, it creates, it creates a low frequency energy. And when you're operating out of low frequency energy, shit's going to start going wonky. I think we all know that. You know, when you're creating your, your professional life and your wealth out of low frequency energy, you got to start making some choices that aren't so aligned, right? <laughs> you know, and so just an encouragement to take a look at the areas of your life where you're like not feeling enough and doing some deep work, doing some soul searching, doing some journaling, hiring a coach, whatever you need to do. If you can't afford work with me, I do have a level up program that I just finished. It's 12 months long of a mindset training and nutrition journey. I, it was so much freaking work and I haven't really posted much about it, but it's really good. I put my heart and soul into that program for people who can't afford to work with me. So that's all, you know, do a deep dive. You don't have to prove it. You're lovable exactly as you are. And the more that you know that, the more you will make choices that are aligned with that. That's all. Okay. Much love, guys.